did, did Marx uh, get the uh, his understanding of the uh, centrality of social relations uh, out of Hegel somehow? That that in well, it, I don't know about social relations, but we know this that that Marx took from Hegel the idea that uh, society precedes the individual. When they coexist, of course, there is no society without individuals, and there is no individual that is not part of some society. It's like a part and whole relation. It's uh, uh, Hegel followed, that he followed Aristotle, who said that the, the whole precedes the past. But it's a complete nonsense. But the notion of either makes no sense without the notion of the other. And what, for instance, Mark was a, a holist to the extent that he says that uh, society uh, creates the ideas that are transmitted to the individual, but the ideas come from society to the individual, not the other way around. <clears throat> uh, that is a very unfortunate trait of, one of the many unfortunate traits of, of Marxism, that is, it is holist. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, uh, I just learned that Max Weber uh, shared my enthusiasm for uh, Frederick Engels the first study, the study of the situation of the working classes in England, uh, that he did, it was an empirical study, sociological study, that he, before he met Marx, he went to Manchester and went to the homes of a number of workers in the uh, mills of Manchester and inquired about the way they lived and so on. And it was an empirical study, moreover, it was quantitative. But uh, unfortunately, there was the first and last sociological study that English did. So there is no much sociology uh, uh, So they, they completely, they, they were not interested in that. They were, they were only, there was only Marxist uh, economics and, and Marxist history, but not Marxist sociology or Marxist politics. Mm -hmm. Well, if this is one of the reasons that they were totally unable to understand when they came to power, to understand the, the societies that they ruled. Mm -hmm. Well, that has changed at least a little bit as far as Marxists, although few people call themselves Marxists that are strongly influenced by him. Few people call themselves Marxists or neo-Marxists, even though I would say that, oh, yeah. that you know they have. A, oh, but they have not changed Marx, all of these particular. Marx, they were plagiarists, plagiarists, Marx, on many occasions. Oh yeah. Uh, and, uh, but others uh, admit the importance of, of Marx. Uh, but unfortunately, Marxists don't admit anything that doesn't come from the Marxist mills. So uh, they haven't learned anything. Mm -hmm. It's true that there are many new Marxists, but they are, in, in my view, quite incompetent. With the exception of the historians, the, the French historians are no longer current of Marxists, but the, uh, the school of the Annals, unfortunately, they didn't take it. Mm -hmm. And then some of the uh, British historians, like uh, Eric Thompson, and uh, Eric uh, helps well. Mm -hmm. But the leaves became very little of Marxism. And for one thing, they, don't, they never refer to the other things. Uh, they reject the Marxist ontology, which comes from Hegel. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, went, I was the first at my university, McGill, to give a course on Marxist philosophy some 30 years ago. I had something like 80 students, most of them from political science, they had never been exposed. One could not talk about Marxism. 30 but years ago, in, the, in 1980, or? This was in 1980? Yeah, something like that, yes. The, the, in the student? Well, when I came here yeah. uh, to, to Canada, I needed to consult Marxist Capital. It was nothing that I received, it was only 
in the agricultural college, which is very far away from downtown, so I never got to it. And so uh, only after uh, uh, 10 or 20 years later, with the student revolution and so on, you know, there were too many Marxist books, which no one read, no one analyzed, no one did. So. But in any case, that course of Marxist philosophy, I limited myself to a few of the authors that I knew, namely Marx, Engels, and Lenin. And every time I said something, I tell criticism that was a student who knew about some new Marx, they say, yeah, yeah, they may have said that by so and so, until they for instance, mm -hmm. or, <laughs> well, we'll say something different. But in the end, I said, I'm not, never going to repeat that this quote because obviously my students know much much more about contemporary Marxism than I do. And then, anyway, I don't care for this. Oh, are this innovation because none of these new Marxists have produced anything. They just have, have uh, transformed, made some changes in Marxism, but none of them have produced a work an analysis of the, the political system of France or the economic system of Western Germany or Russia. No, no. They have been totally scholastic, just comments upon comments upon comments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.